So a neuropsychologist is a specialty for testing and diagnosis of neurological and psychological disorders with cognitive effects or symptoms. An evaluation for neuropsychology tends to be a long process. There's an interview in which I get a good feel for what a person's concerns are or review their medical records with them and find out what do they need to know and what do their doctors need to know to clarify what diagnosis is present or what's going on so that we can plan effective treatment. And then there's a bunch of testing that we will do. It can be paper and pencil testing, it can be questionnaires, it can be timed tasks and puzzles. Anything that your brain can do, there's probably a way for us to measure how you do it, how effective you are at it, and that can help inform what process may be going on in your brain or in your life that's affecting how you're functioning. Depending on the results, some diagnoses are things that we manage through adaptive practices or provide tools for you to change the way you approach things to be more effective. Some diagnoses are treatable and curable. Some things are not treatable or not curable, or we can at least do things to minimize the negative effects in a person's life. So it depends on the actual outcome of the evaluation and what diagnosis is made, what we will do to treat a person. Whether it's the answer is we can do a lot or we can do a little, there's usually something we can do to help improve quality of life and maximize your functioning for as long as possible.